one class which is of great interest and is very exciting were derived from a compound called GLP-1 and I won't even try and explain where that name came from which is secreted by specific cells in the gastrointestinal tract. A scientist discovered in the saliva of the Gila monster that there was another protein very similar to GLP-1 which is called Exendin. This protein works like GLP-1. It makes insulin come out of the pancreas, but it doesn't disappear from the blood as fast. So that person working on the Gila monster, of all things, discovered Exendin, and that turned out to be a very powerful drug to treat diabetes. So two of the effects that Exendin have, the GLP-1 agonists or GLP-1 simulating, are first, to make more insulin come out, and secondly, to lower glucagon. And then in our own laboratory, we showed that Exendin also makes the liver more sensitive to the insulin. So not only does it make more insulin come out, but increases how well the insulin works. So it has a lot of effects, all of which work together like a team to bring the blood sugar down. Now several companies have developed other compounds which are the same, but actually they're timed release, so you only have to take them once a week. So they're now compounds once a week, which are like GLP-1, which can treat diabetes. In addition, there are other compounds, which unfortunately are called DPP-4 inhibitors. I apologize for the name, but I didn't name it, so I don't have to apologize for it. But what DPP-4 inhibitors do is they also raise the GLP-1 levels because they slow down the rate at which GLP-1 disappears. So that's another class of drugs which are very widely used and very, very popular.